Hey everybody, thanks for coming to watch. So, here's the video that I was talking about yesterday on hurricanes. So, we're gonna have a mini lesson here. Give you guys a slideshow and we'll get into the video. Okay, so here is the Saphir Simpson scale, which I'm not sure if I pronounced Saphir right or the first, you know, part of the name. But to be uh, more, um, I don't know, like, you know, more easygoing, we'll just call it the hurricane wind scale. So, as you can see right here, first we got category one. So, winds are 74, 95 miles per hour with minimal damage. So, probably... You'd probably have some trees in your neighborhood uprooted, maybe some big branches come down, minor flooding possible, maybe damage to, you know, roofs, but not much. It's not anything that you guys can't recover from. So that brings us to category two, where it starts getting pretty, pretty intense. Because we start getting winds over 100 miles an hour. And so... We got 96 to 110. You, you know, you're going to have trees, large trees uprooted, some flooding, and um, some damage to houses, you know, and property. Category 3 is when it's really serious. So you have extensive damage with winds well over 100 miles an hour. And you got, you see this tree here is about to fall um but that's a very strong that's a palm tree palm trees are very strong trees you have you can see here on the house you have some a lot of damage so severe damage to houses you can see um a lot of flooding so very very high um storm surge it's for a category three category four you can see here, most of that roof is blowing away. The tree has blown blown away. The flooding has reached the house and is rising. This is, category four is like a very dangerous situation, very extreme hurricane, um, just like Ian was. And Ian was actually forecasted to possibly make landfall as a cat five so yeah cat that brings us to cat five storm surge is huge i mean this is over at least one story of your house the flooding your roof is can in your entire roof can be ripped apart and thrown feet hundreds of feet away your house is not going to be standing most likely it is going to be destroyed no matter what, it's just going to be catastrophic, like it says there. So, really just winds 252 miles, 157 miles per hour more. Sorry, I was reading the kilometers per hour. Next, we have damage. So, I'll zoom out here so I can read this. So, the hurricane wind scale, for some people, also tells how much damage is expected. However, I do not, when forecast, I do not believe that um that the hurricane wind scale tells how much damage is forecasted because i mean even if you have like those crazy 100 mile an hour winds i mean it's not like it's the end of the world like not every not every tree is going to be uprooted there's still going to be tree most trees will actually be up so i mean it's not gonna be you can't like if you see oh no it's cat two like first of all it could definitely be downgraded and also i mean cat two is not that bad i mean it's still you have still some damage but it's nothing like i said earlier in the video it's nothing you guys can't handle so also when weather forecasters track nicole they said it would be a cat 2, but instead it barely got the rating of a cat 1. So that was, um, that was definitely, that's definitely a good, like, example of why I don't 
think that the hurricane wind scale, you know, tells how much damage. The reason I was doing that, though, with when I was showing you guys the scale is just because it had those little models of, like, what, what it would look like, probably. Like, what it would most likely look like. So, as you can see, I have this picture here of this uprooted tree. This was um, from Hurricane or Superstorm Sandy, which at its peak was a Category 3 back in 2012. I should, sorry, I wrote 11. That was actually in 2012. But, uh, yeah, it was a Superstorm because when it, it really, you know, it affected mostly... You know, Long Island, New York, New Jersey, northern New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, northeast Pennsylvania. That's really the most... I mean, it killed 58 people in the northeast. So, I mean, this was definitely a very big deal. So this, my aunt actually took this picture. It was right outside of her uh, front door. But, uh, yeah, I mean... It also brought snow to some of the northeast, upstate New York. So, I mean, yeah, it was it was just crazy. I unfortunately I uh, wasn't really old enough to um, kind of understand what was happening. I was like two years old. But yes, just so you know, this was not in 2012, 2011. This was in 2012. So sorry, I got the date wrong there. Okay. Big question. How to tell the difference from the types of these storms. So, you know, as you probably know, hurricanes are not the only type of, you know, storm that develops in the, you know, like, tropical-like storms. There's still non-hurricane classifications. You have tropical storms and tropical depressions. So, as you know, if you before didn't know the classification of weakest to strongest hurricanes... You might not realize that they don't start out right away as hurricanes and usually don't have the winds over 45 miles an hour when they start out. These are the types of storms that are weaker than hurricanes but can become hurricanes later on in their lifespan, which hurricanes usually do start out. Actually, I would say all hurricanes do. So, you have tropical depression, which is the first stage of a hurricane um, where... It's not even like a, it's just a storm. It's got, you know, I mean, it could bring a lot of rain, but I mean, the wind is definitely not, it's just like a kind of breezy day. That's, that's, that's it. So zero to 38 miles an hour. So really it doesn't matter, you know, how high the winds are for a tropical depression. Tropical storm is when it gets, you know, you're like, okay, so this is definitely gaining strength. So then you need over 39 miles per hour to 73. Isaias, when Isaias came up to me um, a few years ago, that was at the peak of a tropical storm. We had trees down all over the neighborhood, lost power for a week. Um, a lot of damage to houses around the neighborhood. We had some shingles damaged. We had our back porch was damaged. Uh, we had our solar our solar panels were damaged too. So yeah, this is a strong storm, a tropical storm, even though it's less than a hurricane. So really, once you pass tropical storm, that's when you officially get the rating of a hurricane. So really, once you enter like the sixty and seventy three you know, mile an hour zone, that's when you start thinking, okay, this has a shot at becoming a hurricane. Alright, here's some Q&A for you guys. Today's question is, how common is it for a hurricane to hit you? The answer is, nobody knows for sure, but you most likely won't be harmed by hurricanes. Because hurricanes aren't rare, they're pretty common, as you know, but... A hurricane most likely will not be strong, even if it hits you. But there are definitely, that doesn't mean that you should not, that you should underestimate hurricanes because hurricanes can still be, like I said earlier in the video, be very strong. So definitely keep 
taking this seriously, but I mean, you don't have to be absolutely terrified that you think one might come up and devastate you or devastate your area around you. So yeah. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for kind of watching the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.